What's going on YouTube? It's Unger to the Max here. A salute to you. And after two months, I'm back. And the reason I had to take off from YouTube for two months was because I was working on an overnight summer camp and I really didn't have the opportunity to make any videos. So, I know, I have a lot to catch up on. NBA free agency happened. Uh, the Raptors won their NBA, won their first ever NBA championship. The St. Louis Blues won the Stanley Cup for the first time in franchise history. Go Blues! Thank you for defeating the Bruins. Um, I hate the Bruins. Um, so, yeah. Hopefully I'm going to be doing a live stream tomorrow to discuss some of these topics more and other various topics. But quickly, um, the NBA released its Christmas games and some uh, other games of when some players are going to return. So, some of those games are, let's see, got a lot of notifications here. Uh, Mike Conley will make his return to Memphis to play the Grizzlies in FedEx Forum on November 15th as Mike Conley is now with the Utah Jazz. Let's see. What else? Anthony Davis will return to the New or to New Orleans to face the Pelicans on November 27th. Of course, Anthony Davis is now with the Lakers. Paul George will return to Oklahoma City to face the Thunder on... Let's see. When... Hold on, gotta go through my notifications. Hold on one second. On March 3rd, and then Russell Westbrook, Russell Westbrook will return to Oklahoma City to face the Thunder on January 9th, and Kawhi Leonard will return to Toronto with the Clippers to play the Raptors on December 11th, and Kyrie will return to Boston to face the Celtics on November 27th, so, yeah. Oh, and the NBA Christmas uh, Christmas games. That's right. Hold on one second. I know one of them is Clippers-Lakers. Um, yes. Okay. So, the Christmas games... Are hold on. Okay, this is the tweet from Adrian Mordanowski. Christmas games set for 2019, and they include Clippers, Lakers at Staples Center, New Orleans at Denver, Boston at Toronto, Milwaukee at Philadelphia, and I believe that's it. So the Knicks are not going to play on Christmas. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, when's Porzingis returning to... I forget. But Porzingis is also going to be making his return to New York. And I forget when it was. Hmm. Anyway. So, yeah. Also. Um, like I said, I'm... Going to hopefully be doing a live stream tomorrow to give my thoughts on some various topics that have happened, such as, you know, is the Ra is the Raptors championship tarnished because of the injuries that the Blues or that the Warriors suffered? Um is the blue nobody's talking about this one, but if you watched game five of the Stanley Cup final, you saw the the clear tripping penalty that wasn't called. And does that make the Blues championship tarnished at all? And um, one thing I'm going to quickly touch on now. So the Browns, are, the Browns are in the AFC North with the Pittsburgh Steelers, Baltimore Ravens, and Cincinnati Bengals. Although I think the Ravens should be moved to the AFC East. The Dolphins should be moved to the AFC South and the Pits and the Colts to the AFC North. I would love that because I actually absolutely love the Indianapolis Colts because 
Peyton Manning and Reggie Wayne played for the Colts, and they are two of my favorite players of all time. Um, and yes, I will be doing schedule prediction videos, and I can tell you the Browns, Colts, Seahawks, and Bears will all be part of it. I might do a live stream where I do all four of them in one video. Not sure. But anyway, so week 15 last season, the Patriots were playing the Steelers in Pittsburgh, which was like the one year anniversary of Jesse of the Jesse James no call, no catch, which actually should have been a catch, but that's not part of what I'm talking about. So, the Browns were actually in the race for the title, for the division title. And they need the Patriots to beat the Steelers to potentially stay in the race. Now, like I said, I'm a huge die Browns fan. You know that. I love doing Browns videos. Um, and I'm going to be doing those again. And I can tell you already, I am going to be doing a Browns game preview with Norbcam for week six when we play the Seattle Seahawks. Um... In, at First Energy Stadium. And I can also tell you that I'm going to be doing a preview with Gang Green David week, when we play the Jets week two, Monday Night Football. I'm also going to see if I can do one with Ingrave and Vids for when we play the Baltimore Ravens in week four and week 16. Anyway, so as a Browns fan, you would think I would be rooting for the Patriots. No, I'm sorry. I hate the Patriots so much that even though it hurt the Browns, it hurt the Browns for the Steelers to win, I rooted for the Steelers. I'm sorry, but well, right now, I don't consider the Steelers to be a rival. I don't. Because this is the first year the Browns actually have been, this is the first time the Browns are coming off a good season. And I want to see it again. And if they keep going and the Steelers continue to be a good team, then I can say, and the games between them are competitive, then I can say, yes, Brown-Steelers is a rivalry. But right now, to me, it's not a rivalry. And same with Browns-Ravens. I mean, the Browns, the two games between the Browns and Ravens were really good last season. But again, this is the first time in a while that the Browns are coming off a, a successful, not a successful, but a good season. Before I can say Browns-Ravens is a rivalry, let me see both teams sustain being good. Let me see how the Browns deal with being, uh, having expectations. Like some people are already saying, oh, the Browns are going to go to the Super Bowl. Yay! Me, even though I'm a Cleveland Browns fan, and I am a Browns fan, I'm a season ticket holder, which I am very upset because um, I, not only am I a season ticket holder, but I like to collect tickets. I have many ticket books, and I, I have ticket books full of, like, Browns tickets and Cavaliers tickets and all my... All the tickets from the NBA arenas that I've been to and all that. And the Browns, for some reason, are not handing out like physical tickets. The only way you can the only way to have your tickets now is on a mobile device like this. Which I understand mobile device takes less time. You just scan it and you're in. But and you're into the stadium. But I'm not happy about that. I wish the team was still using physical tickets. Because when am I going to put in my, in my ticket book now? I mean, yeah, I can take screenshots. But to me, that doesn't have the same vibe I'll go with. That might not be the right word choice, but I'm going with it anyway. But, or the right appeal. I think appeal is the better word. Having a screenshot of a ticket doesn't have the same appeal to me as having a physical ticket. You know, that's just my personal opinion. So yeah, and uh, let's see, what else? Yeah, so 
I have completely memorized the Cleveland Browns schedule. So I'm going to go through it right now. Week 1, home against the Tennessee Titans. Week 2, at the New York Jets, Monday Night Football. Week 3, home against the defending NFC champions, the Los Angeles Rams, Sunday Night Football. Week 4, at the Baltimore Ravens. Week 5, at the San Francisco 49ers, Monday Night Football. Week 6, home against the Seattle Seahawks. Week 7 is our bye week. Week 8, at the New England Patriots. Week 9, at the Denver Broncos. Week 10, home against the Miami Dolphins. Week 11, home against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Thir no, week 10 is home against the Buffalo Bills. There we go. Week 10, home against the Buffalo Bills. Week 11, home against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Thursday Night Football, which I think is terrible. Thursday Night Football it should not be a thing. Uh, week 12, home against the Miami Dolphins. Week 13, at the Pittsburgh Steelers, which my family and I might be going to that game. Again, might. Week 14... Home against the Cincinnati Bengals. Week 15 at the Arizona Cardinals. Another game my family and I might be going to. Week 16. Um, oh, home against the Baltimore Ravens. And week, seven, week 17 at the Cincinnati Bengals. So that's the Cleveland Browns schedule. And like I said, I'm back. Um, I'm... Like I said, I'm sorry I haven't posted a video in over two months. I was working at an overnight summer camp and I just didn't have the time or chance to really create a video. But it's okay now. Also, quick WWE thing. So I watched the video on YouTube of Roman Reigns and Samoa Joe getting into a brawl. And, of course, Drew McIntyre got involved, and then the Usos got involved, and then the OC got involved, and Cedric Alexander. So what I would like to see happen is an eight-man tag team match. On one side, you have Roman Reigns, Jimmy and Jay, the Usos, and Cedric Alexander. And on the other side, you have um, Samoa Joe, Drew McIntyre, and the OC. So that's my thought. And uh, also, I decided to drop my WWE Network subscription, so I will not be watching SummerSlam, which I, I'll i find other ways to watch it. Um, yeah, and I can just watch highlights after. So that's going to do it for this video. Just wanted to get back into the swing of things, talk about a couple things, you know. And uh, yeah. So, until next time, this is Unger to the Max, signing off with a salute to you, and go Browns. Oh, and by the way, um, I will be at the Cleveland Indians game on Sunday, and they are playing the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. And that's, this is going to be my second Indians game of the season. And like, I don't know if I've told you this, but I will only go to Indians games on after, afternoon Indians games. I can't handle nighttime games. It's because of the fireworks. I'm just, I just, I don't like fireworks right now. Um, so yeah. And, but the fireworks are easier for me to handle in the afternoon. But again, so I might take some video from the Indians game and post it on the channel. We'll see. But until next time, probably tomorrow... This is Unger to the Max with a signing off to you and a salute to you. See ya.